Let's review the Chalk and Notch Fringe Dress. Let it go, what's the use in hope? Hello makers and creatives, I'm Catherine from Sheer Stitchery. This is your spot for all things sewing and DIY. This week, I wanted to review the Chalk and Notch Fringe Dress and Blouse. Now, I have made a couple of patterns by Chalk and Notch, and I thought I would start with this one. So with this pattern, you have two views to choose from. View A is a version that I decided to make, and it has some gathered details with a nice little button placket for the sleeves, and view B is a more simple sleeve. Now the sleeves are stitched on, but they are a feel of like a grown on sleeve. Now you have the option of making this a blouse or a dress. Now I opted to make the dress version and I actually grabbed all of my materials from a kit from Minerva. I will link that down below if you're interested in using some of the same fabric that I did. I actually used this super fine Egyptian cotton, which is absolutely stunning. Um, so soft to the touch. If you've ever stitched with Egyptian cotton, I highly recommend it. It is beautiful to press and it has a really great drape to it. And now back to the pattern. So with this pattern, I would classify this as an advanced beginner or an intermediate pattern. It's pretty simple to put together and the instructions are quite clear. I actually have a sew along for you and I will link that down below if you're interested in the exact steps on how you can create your own version of this dress. Now I opted to make the dress version and it really has details that are like a shirt dress, which is always on trend. It has a bit of that high low hem, which mimics the shirt tails in a classic shirt. Now, if you're making the shirt version or the blouse version, of course, you still have that same high-low hem. It's just going to be cropped a little bit higher so that you can wear it with trousers. One of the neat details that I actually liked is it has some optional waist ties. So you could leave it nice and loose and baggy, or you can use these waist ties to cinch it in. Now, there are two options for these waist ties. View A actually has the waist ties just along the back darts, just to cinch it in just ever so slightly at the back without ruining any style lines from the front. Now, I decided to do the waist ties from view B, which is where they put the waist ties in the front darts, and then you can really cinch it in to give a nice fit and flare look, which I really like. Plus, you can loosen it up if you want it to be a little more looser fitting and a bit more comfortable. I do find that this dress came together in a snap. I got this done in a day and I'm confident that you would be able to as well. And I really liked how these sleeves really came together. So they are completely encased, um, especially on view A, and you've actually top stitched them so you don't see any of those exposed seams, which is really nice. It also helps to provide a bit of structure because you're doubling up that fabric so that you get a nice definition within that shirt dress sleeve. Button placket is super simple and it is just comes together at that waistband with a nice gathered skirt. And always a lovely bonus, if you're making the dress version, it does come with pockets. Now, if you've made this, I would love to hear your thoughts on it or if you have any other patterns from Chalk and Notch that you'd like me to review. Until next time, makers, let's get our sewspiration on.